has been shown in the study that it does well with uh, calcium. When we were approached for the opportunity to beam live, it was actually an excellent opportunity and maybe responsibility as well because TCTAP is one of the premier interventional cardiology meetings in the world. We have been involved as Malaysian, as a country in TCTAP for many years. But this year was extra special because I'm in a panel in the main hall with lots of international experts and we're having a beam of live telecast from CVSKL. To have my colleagues, Silvam, Rosli and Fazil to be, be able to showcase is actually extra special for me. In our blood vessels, we can have lesions that are very hard. And if it's very hard, you will not be able to implant the stent because the stent can't even go down. And that's still one of the challenges treating coronary artery disease because we have to implant either a balloon or a stent. Today, we use for the first time in Asia, probably only the third country in the world or the fourth country in the world to try this out. And what it does is that when it is inflated and it gets contact with calcium, it amplifies the force which is exerted on calcium and with that, it breaks the calcium and fractures the calcium. And therefore, we can then proceed with our regular, normal implanting of stents. The whole thing about cardiology is to achieve good results so that your stents can expand well, but with safety. This yeah. device, uh, not only it's safe, it is easy to use. I believe that it can be used widely by any cardiologist once they get a reasonable experience. And we feel that this is an important step getting us new technology, new devices to make the treatment of calcium much easier and more efficacious. We are indeed proud that Malaysia has been the first country in all of Asia to perform these. And CVSKL was honoured to be given the priority and grossly spearheaded the thing. We are indeed proud for Malaysia. So that's why when we were able to show this, many colleagues were especially excited because they can actually utilise it almost immediately once they have it on their shelf and all of this hopefully translate to having a better care and a better long-term outcome for the patient.